Hi, beautiful Capricorn. Welcome to a new era. Uh, my name is Emma. <laughs> I was like, who am I? Um, this is your love reading starting today on the 12th of February. Uh, I've set the time frame to, to early February until early March of 2021. Valentine's Day is obviously going to play a part in it. And however you decide to celebrate or not celebrate or think it's the most beautiful, gorgeous day of the year or just a big commercial thing um it doesn't really matter what we're drawing from is the energy because there's a lot of people thinking about love around about this time and you're we're closing into the 14th here so you're this reading is picking up a lot of that energy i feel we also passed a new moon yesterday and i don't know about you guys but the new moon uh is affecting me these days just as much as the full moon used to it's almost like they have swapped places in a way i i yeah it's it's weird um it took me a while to get to these readings today because i've been feeling such a pressure in my head like like i would say back in the day so many years ago that i used to drink alcohol but waking up and just feeling that heaviness like like a hangover um or if you haven't eaten a lot of sugar in a while and then up comes easter or christmas or Halloween or whatever you celebrate and then the next day is like Ugh, like <laughs> whole body is just in a sugar coma is that kind kind of vibe in the body and it literally has taken me probably two or three hours to get going today physically and then usually like I can be a little bit off physically but then like the energy is still good so it doesn't really matter but today is like it was the other way around it's like for the life of me I'm like get on with it can you just come up like what's going on and i just figured yeah perhaps it's a little bit of the new moon still because i've been feeling it like two three days before the new moon and then yesterday and then also today but maybe probably the most today i have to say um so maybe you're feeling it too it just means that there's um basically what that means for me is that there's super super high energy super high vibration going on spewed all over planet earth which is beautiful and i'm not quite up to par with it i'm in, in a little bit of resistance with that or it wouldn't be heavy the physical body wouldn't feel the heaviness if the physical body is in alignment with that high speed energy you're fine and you're soaring and you're like bubbling um so you might have not felt that at all you might be just completely the opposite and going what are you talking about like i'm all i'm all speed <laughs> Then good for you. Then you're more in alignment with it. Um, it took me a bit to get into that alignment. A lot of water. Okay, so Capricorn, with this speedy energy and love energy from Valentine's Day, what do we have? Mending, number 52. And it's interesting because if you were to see... Mm, I'm not going to screw with the camera there now, but... Um, Okay, I'm just gonna lift it up exactly as it stood, like like this. It just landed on the corner and just leaned against the computer here that I'm looking into. Um, so there's something about it not falling out flat. It's not it's not that big of a deal, it feels like. Uh, unfinished symphony number 10. Beautiful um image there and then regeneration number 46 a little bit of a phoenix rising has this card turned into be like a, the dark knight of the soul just coming back and mending that sort of doesn't mm, it's there it's almost like you could have flipped but it but not coming co not coming out it's 52 so it's the end of something we have 52 weeks in a year it's like it's a full circle of something so we're going to look into each and every one of these cards and see what's going on here for you. Clarify them and get like a bigger and bigger story, clearer and clearer story as we go. Uh, I see a lot of change here. It doesn't necessarily show up like anywhere, but I see a snake. Don't ask. Um, I see a snake and the snake for me talks about change. Uh, unfinished symphony usually shows up when you have unfinished business and you need to sort of finish projects, you need to finish what you've started. Um, 
so in terms of love relationships it can be that you need you need to put an end to something you need to like maybe get closure on something um and move on finish like finish it finish it up uh number 10 there talks about a completion we're done here uh it's a new beginning with the number one and you have come full circle we have the number zero uh so there's something that is like it has run its course and so but it's like if it wasn't properly like said goodbye to or if it's if if you feel like you probably need to have some sort of talk with somebody or um or you wish that somebody would reach out to you and sort of have this finalizing of something here i think i think it would be you would better you would be better off in just if you can reach out to this person and it sort of doesn't hinder you in any way then i would i would reach out to certain people um and sort of get closure is what i feel but sometimes we can't for for whatever reason sometimes we can't even to the point where they crossed over to the other side then you can't um well debatable but in not in the in the typical fashion sense uh write a letter write a letter uh and like say say what it is that you w wished that you could say like you actually are having a real conversation and sort of put an end to it it feels like it's very important in terms of um in terms of the energy somehow closure can we clarify this unfinished symphony please we just have like one final conversation with somebody maybe not even to it doesn't like have to be has to be so dramatic like you come together to end it it can be like you just you just need to talk it out you, you just need to like have a cup of coffee or something but it's like you've reached an end in something and we need to finish it or it's sort of it's it's lingering there a little bit for you to like fully move on or fully receive new information or new even new relationships coming in can we clarify the symphony yeah okay wow so rebuild number 16 this is a tower so something has happened there that you've opened up and and you've you've expanded a lot through the situations we have sudden shifts and sudden changes there with number 16 and then next to it comes 13 which is like release it's death leading to life it's divine feminine it's moving on we're letting go and letting god um so there's something that has happened around this situation that sort of calls for like just like i said we need to let it go you need to release this there's something i don't i don't feel like it, it might have been like the majorest thing can you say that um it just is a feeling of it's it's unfinished it's not talked through and it's it's if you don't have that conversation with this person and it might not even be like it's a romantic partner it can be um it can be an ex it can be a really close friend sort of that you feel like you're about to move on and it's it's sitting there sometimes we just feel like they're gone and they're gone and we just we're just fine with it we feel like the energy is sort of the energy has come full circle there's an, there's not an open endedness to anything but this particular uh, relationship you will know you will know what the person you're thinking about is the person it, it can even be several but i think for the most of you guys it, it's it's going to be one um that you just need to sort of come to some sort of um closure here because it lingers the the energy is still active and that active energy of feeling like feeling like it's not ended properly or we haven't really talked about it and even how uncomfortable it is it really would serve you to bring it up because there's something about clo closing up that energy wrapping it up we have a completion there um and just fully release it will bring you to the next level will bring you if you're in a situation and you've been wanting new friends or you've been wanting a new love relationship or you've been wanting just new 
ideas or new situations to enter your life and it sort of doesn't come, this might be one of those things that you're lingering in some old energy. You might not think about it every day. You might not have it with you every day. You might even argue that it's still active, but it's coming up. And if you're if you are one of those people that haven't really seen the future come in at the way you want it to come in, then this might be one of those things. So, so have the conversation or write the letter having the conversation. You don't really actually need the other person, uh, but you need closure. You, you need to, to shut down this energy or not shut down, but have it come full circle and then release it. Just fully release it. Okay, and then we have Regeneration. I love this card. It's just so dramatic. Um, 46. So there's a completion again. And guys, 52. 52 weeks in the year. It's over. It's a completion. So we have three cards coming out saying there's a completion here. So please complete it. There's a Regeneration. It's not like it's completed and then there was nothing. What happens after we die? gone no it's a complete regeneration it's a complete renewal it's a complete coming back this is sort of it looks like lava and fire and you know we burnt down whatever um wow i also get this message like burn burn at the stake is that the expression or am i completely butchering that one burn at the stake and like it is i'm getting this feeling like um uh, so probably not this time around. If I were to sort of talk this time space, um, I can't really find anything though. So I will go sort of in the into the past. If somebody would have found out that you have a lot of gifts, they may have burned you at the stake, and and um, and said that you were a witch, or they would have hung you, or they would have um, taken your license away to practice something because you would be dangerous like to the to for medicine or something like that i mean today's day and age what do we do then we don't really burn people anymore however we stone people and we um take their license away we i don't know i don't know what this is i don't know if you felt that you've been burnt at burnt at the stake in, in this day and age for what you are, for what you are cap capable of. Uh, something has gone down, like on, uh, down, gone up in flames. But we're regenerating the whole situation here. Like you're coming back from it. It's you and we, we have this branch coming out here and you're regenerating yourself. This is the new you. You're creating your new self. And... It, it, nothing is wasted nothing is ever wasted but there's something about what happened in the past there it's bygones we have a tower moment but there's a there's a rebuild of the tower moment and there's a release coming into the um feminine energy which is really gorgeous really flowy really beautiful high vibration um and you're stepping into like this new found place of yourself and i mean this is for relationships so there's there's a feeling of whatever has happened in the past. If there's a person that has burned you at the stake or a person who just who just for the life of them did not understand you. They did not get the spiritual side of you. They did not understand fully your heart. They didn't maybe even understand your humor, like your sense of humor or. There's something about being uh, completely almost depleted. And maybe perhaps even allowing yourself to be so like over the years, like fully living somebody else's life almost. Um, I feel like this is a little bit like further in the back. This is, we have, we have entered into a, a completion here three times over. This is gone. You need to complete it and move on. And you, you're doing it here. Like we're, it's a regeneration. You're coming up from the fire and moving on. Can we please uh, clarify this? Regeneration. Four there speaks about a heart matter. And number six is the connection in with your inner being. That is um, love and harmony. Oh, 
clarify regeneration. Yeah, for sure. Big change in love. Big change in love. A completion of the old. Burnt at the stake. That was a new one. Yeah, confronting. Wow. <clears throat> so some of you guys, you actually, this might actually be, ooh. Okay, so that's not, this is not going to be for all, but for some of you guys, having this conversation is actually going to be with the person who burnt you at the stake. It's confronting, it's confronting um, the darker side, so to speak. For the general, the general uh, Capricorn here, <clears throat> I feel like this is just sort of meeting your own shadow side, like taking one last look at the shadow side of you, one last look of the dark night of the soul, the phoenix rising situation, um, and moving on. 18 numerology wise is so beautiful because we have a new beginning with the number one, and we have a number eight there that speaks about endless possibility. It's, it's uh, the infinity sign, as above, so below, strong manifestation. Add those up, we have number nine, which is an ending. So you're, it's like, okay, so you we're ending the old and you're stepping into the new and you're now stepping into like brilliant, endless possibilities. And wherever there was a wall before, wherever there was like a um, leftover wall, leftover guard, shield, it has come down because I think you finally started to look at your shadow side. Like we need to... In order for us to get the most into the light and in order for us to really get to know another person, like we can only know another person to the degree that we know our own depth, right? We can only, we, we keep saying we can only love somebody else if we love ourselves, but that truly means you can only love or know or understand another person to the depth of your own understanding. And if you haven't been willing to sort of meet your own shadow, meet your own uh, darker sides you can't really know another person right uh, I feel like you have you've known yourself back and forth and round again like full circle a couple of times and this is like having almost a little goodbye party like saying okay yeah shadow side I know you I know the insides and outsides of you um, I, know, I know what to do in the lower frequencies but you're dressed in purple there you have grown so wise. We have had this tower moment, but you've grown, you've rebuilt yourself and you come into, you're releasing stuff and you've opened your heart and you're coming into the, the feminine energy here, the divine feminine. Uh, and you're, it's like you're saying one last goodbye there. Like, goodbye, shadow. Nice knowing you, but I'm now going to start to get to know the light side of me as well. which is the clarification of this. Saying goodbye to the shadow and coming out into the light. It's a very authentic part of you. I see almost like a um, glitter, like um, all these white stuff coming in here. It looks like light. It is light, but it's also like little particles, little, it's almost like little stars raining on you. Very beautiful. Um, and this mending, Okay, so I don't even have to clarify it. The mending came out and stood on, like it was a little bit on edge. So, uh, it's just saying goodbye to the old. This is like, I almost want to sort of, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm, I'm piling them up and I'm actually, I'm not going to put them back in the deck because we've used them, but I'm going to put them over here. It's, it's a little bit silly to do that because they're not affecting us in any way. I just want to very, like, um, metaphorically, that is in the past. It feels so much in the past. Like, that is a done deal. You had your you had your phoenix rising, and you had your um, moment of despair, and you have grown so wise, and you really have started to open up your heart. And this mending is like, yeah, I'm just sitting here. It's like I get this feeling of, like, I'm sitting here dangling my feet into the water, uh, like down from a little, I don't say bridge, uh, brygga, dock, you're dangling your legs by the dock, like over the water, and it's like, yeah, so 
that happened but now we're fine now we're good we have um we have mended things uh we have forgiven things and it's like a very childlike very innocent very peaceful like let bygones be bygones and now we're stepping into this most peaceful place uh you're reintroducing your inner child again you're you're welcoming this next stage in your life and i see pink clouds in the back there talking about this new place this new fun place and this new love coming in very special very different reading um five plus two is seven so there's a completion and it a, a, a completion in 52 there's a completion in seven but the seven rather than a completion and i fully wanted to just put like all the cards to the side that is number 10 seven is like it's time to now get to enjoy what you have created all of that stuff that is in the past that has created something really really beautiful for you to start to experience and it's just never too late i don't care if you if you're like oh, i had the sweetest talk with my uh oldest boy there's a little bit of an age gap so my youngest is two and a half and my oldest is 20. um so there's like 18 years in between them which is quite extraordinary um, and my oldest one, he was just feeling like, you know, what am I going to do with my life? <laughs> and I just remember, I just remember those feelings. Like you were, you were 20, 22 and you were like, mm, am I getting close to the end? You know, you don't fully know your place yet. You, you don't really know what you're doing here. I'm still figuring it out at this age. Um. But this, this feeling, so I don't, I don't care whether you're 22 or 52 or, or like it says here, or 72, I don't care. It's, you can start this life whenever you want, whenever you want, as the minute you let go of any type of resistance, the life you want or have been dreaming about can start. And whether you had one more life, one more life one more year in this life or or 10 years or 20 years in this lifetime to get to live your true love story it's going to feel like that was all you knew that was all you knew it's never true i don't know why i'm saying this but so maybe somebody's feeling like start over now at my age i don't know like it's never too late to get your story to get your love story you just need to let go of the resistance and there's some sort of mending that has gone on on the insides here we're gonna move on so it's like it's like i want to say okay let's start over this reading from here on out bygones be bygones we have had some sort of final talk as well we've written a letter maybe perhaps to somebody we actually have talked to somebody you have reached out to somebody maybe even apologized to somebody saying you know you're i'm sorry it turned out this way or i'm sorry that we haven't really like finalized stuff or whatever this is for you and then move on and and now what now what are we stepping into interesting someone's a little bit of a feeling of extended like the extended reading like now now new energy what now what would you not now what do we do but we're starting it here on youtube Okay, Capricorn, love story. When they have cleared out this old energy, what, now what? Wow. Flip button come out, I understand. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit of like a change in the wind. You're gonna see stuff get dismantled. Is that what it's called? Uh, stuff is gonna unravel. Stuff is gonna let go. It's a change in the wind. We had a change with the snake that I saw that wasn't really there, but <laughs> there's a change. So we have breathe and the fate. So beautiful. 
breathe number 29 which is also an ending and brand new beginnings and then the fates number 17 which is uh immortality and infinity it talks about the longevity there again like it's never too late because life just continues on and on and on there's something like right now uh, like i wouldn't be surprised if the between worlds comes out like you although the between world card is i'm just going to start talking about a card that hasn't come out um the between worlds is like you you sense a little bit from the past and you sense a little bit from the future you're somewhere in between and you you haven't fully left your past and you haven't fully come into your future you're just sort of between worlds but this is like not between worlds because this reading wants you to just fully 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 just let go of the past and not even it's almost like it hasn't happened it's like you're the sum of all your memories right you're the sum of everything that you have lived but you're the sum you're not everything that you have lived right so whatever you lived there that made you the sum that is not important anymore it's not it's not interesting whatsoever this is and so when we start over here it's like it's almost asking you to just forget about what has happened in the past not that it's bad or not that it's good it just is then it was it's past tense and to get you more into the here and now i get my meditation card so it's asking you to meditate. It ask, asks you to be still. See a, a light, like a candle, a candlelight. So maybe a lit, just light a candle and sit and watch this candle, this flicker, this flame. Um, just watch this flame and be still, completely still. There's something about cleansing your energy right now or just be very still in here and now so that you start to like you can reboot yourself and you can start from scratch. Uh, 29 there talks about uh, conversation and communication in relationships. And 9 is about endings and coming into the new. Uh, adding those up, we have a number 11. So there's a portal. It's a portal for you to, to choose something new now. To just step into this portal, a step through this portal and choose this new life for yourself. And to just breathe. Breathe yourself into the new energy. Um this is where, where you're steering like you're steering straight towards your destiny you're always supposed to end up here the fates uh so i see the stars are aligning for you you see the stars coming down there from the sky just aligning being in you're in alignment with the stars and the stars are aligning so all the stars for me represent freedom they represent wish fulfillment um they also represent the um because we have the 17 the 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 immortality there and the, the infinity it's it's just like the feeling between i i know what i want i don't have it yet it's such a different vibe than i know what i want and i'm feeling the feeling of it coming in so so i don't because of the meditation card here i don't think you you're so recently and and i i understand some of you guys are not even here yet you're not gonna you haven't fully let go of your past just yet but just know that this is for future reference this is where you're gonna through breathing and through meditation and just be still in here now and fully let go of your past you're stepping into your freaking destiny where all your wishes will come true it's the immortal law of the universe it like it just continues on and on and on it's endless possibilities here for you and there's there's one thing talking about seeing it and there's another just feeling so at ease and so happy and so excited in the meantime while it's going to start to manifest and we're not quite there yet you're in the process of that and this is a love story so you're in the process of creating this beautiful relationship and it's faded, it's destiny, it's destined to happen. I'm going to move into the extended. I have no idea what's going to show up there because this is a very different reading here today. But if you feel drawn to that or if you feel like you resonate with this, you're so welcome to come there. Uh, the link to that is in the description box down below. 
it's going to be very interesting to see what comes out. Uh, if not, thank you so much for, for watching Capricorn and happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Take care, guys.